Hello. In this video, I show you how to fully recover a Proxmox VM dataset via backup export, as well as how to perform granular recovery of Proxmox VM data using Nikivo backup and replication. Full VM data recovery is useful when you need to recover the entire dataset of a Proxmox VM. You can perform full recovery of Proxmox VM data using bare metal recovery, or using the alternative backup export approach detailed in this video. To learn about the bare metal recovery approach, follow the link in the description. On the other hand, granular recovery involves only individual files or application objects. Let's begin with granular recovery. For this data loss demonstration, I'm deleting two files from my Windows server, a router image and a text file. To begin, open the jobs dashboard in Nikivo backup and replication. Click recover and select individual files. In the left pane of the backup step, select the backup job that contains the files you want to recover. In the right pane, select the desired recovery point. Click Next. Select one of the available recovery methods. Nikivo Backup and Replication lets you download the recovered files through a browser, send them via email, recover them to a server, or restore them to a file share. If you're recovering to a server or a file share, you will need to provide the details required to establish a connection to that recovery target. In this case, I'm recovering to the same Windows server, so I need to specify the server OS, provide the host name or the IP address, and enter the OS credentials. Keep in mind that there are prerequisites to performing recovery to the source machine. For more details, refer to the File Recovery section of the Nikivo Help Center. Next, click Test Connection. In a few moments, a checkmark appears next to the button to confirm a successful connection to the recovery target. Click Next to proceed to the next step, and wait for the solution to display the contents of the selected recovery point in the file step. Expand a drive in the navigation pane to view its contents. In the right pane, select the files you want to recover by clicking their checkboxes. Click Next. In the Options step, select Recover to Original Location, then determine the overwrite behavior in case a recovered item already exists on the recovery target. Click Recover to begin the granular recovery process. To return to the dashboard, Click Close. While you wait, you can also switch to the Activities dashboard to monitor the job's progress. The recovery has been successfully completed. Here is the Windows Server that I used as a target for this recovery. And the two files are back to their original location. For the full recovery scenario, I'm deleting an entire VM from Proxmox Virtual Environment. The VM's ID is 102, and it is running Windows Server. The VM has disappeared. Before proceeding with recovery, you need to create a new Proxmox VM with the same configuration as the lost VM. I've created the new VM and it's ready to be used for full recovery using the backup export approach. To begin, switch back to the jobs dashboard in Nikivo Backup and Replication. Click Recover and select Export Backups. In the Backup step, select the backup that you want to export as a VMDK file from the left pane. Select a recovery point in the right pane, then click Next. Select one or more disks under each backup. In this case, I only have one disk under the selected backup. Click Next. From the Export Location drop-down list, specify the recovery target for the VMDK file, either a local folder, a SIF share or an NFS share. Provide the path to the selected export location in the designated field. Click Export to begin exporting the backup. You can now close the window or click Activities to monitor the progress of this job. The export has been completed successfully. To complete the recovery process, you need to import the exported VMDK file to the newly created Proxmox VM. To do so, switch back to Proxmox Virtual Environment and open the shell. In this case, I've exported the backup as a VMDK file from a NAS device that has an Akivo transporter and a backup repository installed. The NAS share is also mounted to this Proxmox Virtual Environment via NFS. So, to proceed, I will import the VMDK file from the network share. For that, I'm using the command QM import disk followed by the VM ID, which is 102 in this case, in addition to the storage, data store and disk file. QM import disk, VM ID, storage, disk file, format. The import is now in progress. The VMDK disk has been imported successfully, and you can now configure the newly created VM to finalize the recovery process. Select the VM to open the VM Details view. With the Hardware tab selected, select the unused disk, and use the same disk configuration of the original VM. Next, you need to edit the boot order to have the VM boot from this newly recovered and configured drive. To do so, switch to the Options tab. 
open the boot order window, and uncheck all other disks, such that only the recovered drive is enabled. Click OK. With that, the original VM disks have been imported and mounted to a new VM. Finally, click the start button to start the VM. And that concludes our how to video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. You can also download a free trial version of Nakivo backup and replication using the link in the description and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.